afternoon, students. I'm surrounded today by a bunch of my daughter's stuffed animals because I wanted to teach you some more animal signs. So I will teach them to you one by one as they come up and sit in this chair. And first, we'll start with the penguin. To make the penguin sign, you put your blade hands out. These are called blade hands. And you go like that. Penguin. Kind of like how penguins waddle. Penguin. Penguin. Okay. Next, we have a pig. To make the pig sign, you put your flat hand under your chin and bend your fingers back and forth. Pig. Pig. Next, we will do the, oh, you can hardly see them. I'll hang them up here. Raccoon. Now, raccoons have this black stripe over their eyes, and that's how you make the sign. Take your two fingers and go across your eyes. Raccoon. Raccoon. This is an animal you'll be seeing a lot more of as Thanksgiving approaches. It's a turkey, and I want you to notice what is on his neck. This little piece, flap of skin or cartilage, I can't remember the name of it. It has its own name, but that's where the sign for turkey comes from. You make the Q from the alphabet and put it under your chin and wiggle it. Turkey, turkey, turkey. Okay, next up we have Chester. This is Chester the turtle. So Chester's sign is made like this. You make an A hand and then turn it on the side and then put the turtle shell over it. And then you can wiggle his head if you want. Turtle, turtle, turtle. Okay, next we have a koala bear. Now last week we learned the sign for bear is like this. Well, there's lots of different kinds of bears. So sometimes you would just spell, as in polar bear, you would spell polar and then make the bear sign. The koala bear gets his own sign. You take your two hands and do the bear sign with only the two fingers. Koala bear. Koala bear. Okay, next we have a hippopotamus. Hippopotamuses have big, wide mouths, and that's how we're going to make our sign. So both hands need to make a Y, put it together, and open it. Hippopotamus. 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 Good. Okay, now there's a couple animals I don't have a stuffed animal for to show you, so I brought a picture in a book. The next animal I want to show you is the bumblebee. Okay, so a bumblebee has a stinger, right? So take your F hand, this is F from the alphabet, sting your cheek and then smack it. Bumblebee, bumblebee. Good. And then the other animal that I don't have a stuffed animal for is the peacock. And one of you kids last week when I asked you your favorite animal, you said the peacock. So I told you I would teach you the peacock sign. So a peacock is a bird with a lot of feathers. So there's two different ways to do this sign. You can do bird feathers bird, feathers, or you can make the X hand, peacock, peacock. I prefer this sign, peacock. Good. Okay, next we have a giraffe. 
Now giraffes are known for their long necks. So that's the sign for giraffe. Make a C hand and follow your neck. Make a very long neck. Giraffe, giraffe. Okay, next we have a whale. So to make the whale sign, we're going to have to make a pretend ocean. So put your hand out and your arm. This is the top of the water. And then your other hand makes a Y, whale. If you've seen whales or pictures of whales coming out of the water, a lot of times their tail will stick up when they dive back under their tail will stick up and it kind of looks like a, it makes a triangle shape, kind of like this Y shape. So whale, you make the ocean, whale, whale. Next we have another ocean animal and this is, we're going to call this a dolphin. It's a pink dolphin. Uh, I've never heard of them being real pink dolphins. They're white-sided dolphins or gray dolphins. Uh, so this one is our example. So again, you need the ocean, and then you're going to make a D because dolphin starts with the letter D. Dolphin, and make it jump up and down out of the water. Dolphin. Dolphin. Okay, next. There was also one of you kids last week that said your favorite animal was a rhinoceros. So we're learning rhinoceros for you. You know who you are. Okay, so make your Y hand. The rhinoceros is known for this big uh, tusk shooting off his nose. So your Y hand is going to go off of your nose up in the air. Rhinoceros. Rhinoceros. So we'll stay with the wild animal theme here for a moment. This animal is a lion, and lions are known for their fluffy mane. So the sign for lion shows where the mane would be. So you make a, all five fingers and crunch them up like you did for tiger, but you just need one hand, and you're going to make the mane of the lion. 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 Okay, next is our cute little seal. So he lives in the ocean too, but we're not gonna make our ocean. We're going to make his little flippers. Seal, seal, seal. Next, we have a lizard. So a lizard is a reptile in the same family as snake. And last week we learned the sign for snake. This week's sign is lizard. And you're gonna take your finger and flick it out and then go out, like they're flicking out their tongue. Lizard, lizard, lizard. Good. Okay, I have two animals here. I have a bison and a buffalo, because they're two species that look very, very similar, and they are very similar. So I thought I'd have them both here for you because the sign for bison and buffalo is exactly the same. So you're gonna make like you have horns and pull them around. Bison, buffalo, bison, buffalo. Okay, the last stuffed animal I have for you is this adorable little caterpillar. Okay, Mr. Caterpillar will sit right there. This is a sign for caterpillar. Your finger is the worm, and it's going to inch along on the palm of your hand. Caterpillar. Caterpillar. Very good. So we've learned a lot of animal signs, and I want to show you the sign for all, uh, for the word animal. So the sign for the word animal, you take your blade hands and put them right 
at your shoulders and breathe in animal animal good the other word that is important to go with all these animals is zoo because some of these animals you can only see in a zoo unless you fly to a different part of the world so the sign for zoo you need your hand out and you're just going to draw a z zoo 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 okay great are you ready to review okay in a moment we'll review all of the animals that you've learned last week and this week see you later Now let's review our animals that you would see at the zoo. So first of all, let's review the sign for zoo. You put out your flat hand and draw a Z. Zoo, zoo. Zoo is also a really short word, so you could spell it Z-O-O. Zoo, zoo. Okay, one of my favorite animals to see at the zoo is the elephant. So let's do his sign first. Elephant, elephant. Gonna make that trunk. Good. Let's see what else. You also might see koala bears at the zoo. Koala bear, koala bear. You could also see penguins at some zoos. So let's waddle like a penguin. Penguin, penguin. Next we have our giraffe. Giraffe, giraffe. We're making the long giraffe neck. Okay, next is our tiger and the tiger has stripes on his face tiger tiger and right next to the tigers you would probably see the lions lion you make their mane lion okay some zoos also have bison or buffalo in them. Bison, buffalo. Next we have the lizard, lizard, lizard. And then we're going to visit the rhinoceros. Now remember the rhinoceros sign is made because of that tusk on his nose. Rhinoceros, rhinoceros. Next, probably near the rhinoceros in the zoo is the hippo with his big wide mouth. Hippo, hippo. And the last animal that I enjoy seeing at the zoo very much is the peacock. And we talked about there's two different ways to make the peacock sign. You can sign bird feathers. That's one sign for peacock. The other one is to make an X and make the feathers. Peacock. Peacock. And that wraps up our review of animals that we would see at a zoo. Okay. All around me I have stuffed animals that represent the signs of the animals we've learned. These are animals that would live on a farm or in the woods or in a park. So let's review. We're going to start with the animal that I don't have a stuffed animal for and that's the bumblebee. Bumblebee. You make the stinger and then smack your face. Don't smack your face too hard. Bumblebee, bumblebee. Next, 
we have bunny rabbit, bunny rabbit. Owl, owl. Moose, moose. Squirrel, squirrel. Frog, frog. Skunk, skunk. Caterpillar, caterpillar. And when the caterpillar grows up, he spins a cocoon and he comes out as a butterfly. Butterfly. So hook your thumbs, butterfly. Bear, bear. Deer. Deer. Mouse. Mouse. Duck. Duck. Raccoon. Raccoon. Bird, bird. This is an animal I never want to see. Snake, snake. Dog, dog. Bug, bug. Pig, pig, sheep, sheep, cow, cow. And the last farm animal is one we will be eating a lot of soon at Thanksgiving. The turkey, turkey. That wraps up our review of farm and woodland animals. So only four of our animals are left to review, and these are our water animals. Now, some of the animals we've already reviewed, like the duck and the frog and the turtle, they can live in water, but we did them with the farm and woodland animals. So, let's review these four animals. First, we have our fish. 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 Next, we have the dolphin. Make your D hand in the ocean. And make the dolphin jump and dive. Dolphin. Dolphin. Next is the whale. So for the whale, you need your one arm to be the ocean, and then the tail of the whale is going to jump and dive. Whale. Whale. 
And last but not least is our cute little seal with his little fins. So just the sign is his little fins. Seal. Seal. And that completes our review of all of our animal signs. Enjoy the rest of your week. Mm -hmm.